Mapping is an important aspect of setting up the 3000 series units. These slides will demonstrate the mapping of a set point to one of the output relays in the HI3030 unit. The same type of mapping applies to other units in the 3000 family. This slide here is showing the home page of the 3030 unit. From this page, you would click on the link on the left side for configuration. From the configuration menu selection, you would click on the link to mapping setup. This will take you to the mapping pages. This is the mapping destinations page. From this page, you will select the location where you're mapping data to. You can see we have several different categories of locations, and each of these drop down menus has a number of selections where you can map data to. Since we're going to map to an output relay, we will select the drop down menu labeled Local Outputs. You can see the drop down menu selection shows our output relays as one of the selections for us. Once we select the output relays, it will open a window to the right that allows us to select which of the output relays we want to map to. In this example, we will use output relay number one. You would then click on the select button to select this this uh, relay. Once you have selected the destination you want, you would want to click on the jump to source page to get to the map section setup page two. This page is showing the setup page two selections. As you can see, it looks very similar to the setup one page. Here we'll have different locations that we can get data from rather than where we're sending it to. In this example, we'll be looking at the output from a set point, so we'll make the selection of the drop down list for the set points. Since we want the relay to react to our set point output, we will select the set point output from this drop down list. As you can see, once we choose our output, we get a window to the right that we can make the selection of which set point we want to use. For this example, we'll use the output from set point number one. We will then click on the select button. As we've been making our selections, you may have noticed that it was entering symbols into the window next to the map button lower down on the page. This is the equation we were building. In this example, we have the equation HO 0.0 equals HI 2.0, which in hardy speak is relay one is equal to set point one output. When this so when the set point one output goes high, relay one will turn on. It will stay on as long as the set point output stays high. To accept this equation you would click on the map button. You'll notice that our equation is now added to the current mappings and the relay will now react to the set point output. 